Hello everyone, this is Andre Juwan. Thank you for turning in. A while ago, a viewer wrote and asked if I could do a review on phosphatidylserine and CDB choline, which the links are down below. And I don't know if it's the same viewer, but somebody wrote in as well and say, hey, do a review on uridine. And doing the research, that it, it turned out to be, it's a phenomenal supplement, so thank you very much. Now again, I can't recommend any brands or dosage, but again, this is what I use. Okay, so a uh, footnote, do your own research on brands and dosage because the brands vary, dosage varies according to the person because we all, we all are built differently and the dosage depends on the individual person. So please don't ask what dosage and what brand do you recommend because I did a previous video and I'll just send you the link to that video. Okay, so a footnote, don't get mixed up uridine with uracil. Uracil is one of the bases of RNA and it pairs up with adenine or adenine depending on you know tomato tomato how you put the emphasis on the syllable. So don't get that mixed up okay. Uracil is something totally different. So let's talk about uridine. Now uridine otherwise known as uridine monophosphate or UMP for short. Now this supplement is phenomenal for to increase neuron and synapse densities, increase dopamine and acetylcholine release, so it makes it that feel good hormone, dopamine that feel good hormone, increase learning and memory. And also too, it will lower depression, which in turn will increase your mood. It's a phenomenal mood uplifter. Okay, so what is this? What is uridine? It's a nucleoside formed from uracil and ribose. It's a pyrimidine nucleoside that is one of four components that make up RNA. RNA, again, RNA is a molecular cousin of DNA. It's like the copy. And the main messenger molecule needed to transfer the DNA blueprints for protein synthesis. And DNA is the memory bank for all living organisms. The DNA, that is your genetic code. That's your DNA. Okay, so let's talk about mechanism. Now there's a lot of, lot of benefits of taking uridine, but I just want to talk about memory and mood. So with memory, it helps the growth of new synapses in your brain. Increases signaling between the neurons and then assist in the formation of acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is that neurotransmitter that is primarily used for cognitive function in your brain. And as we get older, we produce less and less of it. Memory is largely dependent on what's called neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity, the reason why you practice over and over because cells that wire together, fire together, and that's in the process, that helps with learning and creating new memory, which is associated with the ability to learn and form memories. Repetition, repetition, repetition. This is why if you're trying to learn a new song, if you're a musician, you have to practice, practice, practice over again because neuroplasticity Cells that wire together, I'm sorry, cells that fire together, wire together. So new neurons in the process called neurogenesis, that's building of new neurons, are encased in a phospholipid layer made up partly of phosphatylcholine. Now in the previous video, phosphatylserine and CDB choline, I, again, I may, if you watch that, you'll understand what phosphatylcholine is, especially with the phospholipid layer. So phosphatylcholine is made from CDB choline. And that's what I, there's a link down below, which is produced with the help of uridine. So phosphatylcholine is required for the synthesis of acetylcholine, that neurotransmitter. Now supplementing with uridine, okay, gives your, your brain the ability to create more phospholipids by producing an abundance of CDB choline. So the more CDB choline you have, results in new and stronger neurons for memory recall, memory production. So now let's talk about mood because uridine is phenomenal for mood. So everybody wants to feel better. Now uridine stimulates the release of dopamine, that feel good neurotransmitter, you know, that dopamine release. I feel great. I want some more dopamine. So it stimulates the release of dopamine in your brain. So uridine also enhances neurite outgrowth, the building of neurons, with the help of what's called nerve growth factor, NGF. So dopamine release is connected with the neurite outgrowth influenced by UMP. 
uridine monophosphate. So what happens is that if you, when you increase dopamine, you increase your mood, learning, and attention. So uridine is phenomenal for memory and mood as well as a plethora of other things. Now, why would someone have a deficiency of uridine when you can get it in foods? Because as we age, our systems start to slow down. It's a normal process of aging. So acetylcholine slows, the production of acetylcholine slows down, the production of a lot of other things slow down. So, take, so supplementing uridine as you get older or any time that you want to boost memory or just cognitive function or increase mood is essential. So yes, we're going to have a deficiency as we get older naturally. So this is why we have a decrease in cognition, memory, recall, forming new memories. Just we're trying to recall something or if you have some type of brain damage, if you've been to an accident. And also you have a decrease in neurons and synapses decline. This is a normal process of aging. Also too, neurotransmitters levels decline, whether it be acetylcholine, dopamine, serotonin, a lot of this stuff declines as we get older. So this is why it's so essential to include this in your supplement pack. Now, what are the benefits of taking uridine? There's a lot of benefits and this is just a handful of them. This is why I always say, do your research on any type of supplement that I am, you're watching a video that I do. So remember, uridine, uridine monophosphate promotes neuron and synaptic growth and DNA repair. It also it reduces the general cognitive decline as we age or just if you're in a slump. It increases free phosphatidylcholine. Remember, the more choline that we have produces, enables us to produce more acetylcholine, which is good for the brain. Exactly, it increases acetylcholine in the brain. It increases receptor neurogenesis and synapto, synapse densities, synaptogenesis. Remember, neuroplasticity, neuroplasticity, cells that fire together, wire together. So this is how you create memory. It also benefits people who have Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, any type of that neurodegenerative disease, especially of the brain, this will help. Uh, ALS, dementia, just to name a few. Okay, now here comes a magical question, dose. Remember, it's dose dependent on you. Always do your research on the appropriate dose and brands. I know I sound like a broken record, but I have to because I have a lot of people typing in and asking me, what dose, what brand, what dose, what brand? Do your research. I don't mean to sound like that guy, but do your research. Now it comes to dosage. Anywhere from 150 milligrams to 300 milligrams twice a day. And using, using uridine alone will improve memory. Yes, it'll improve memory. So if you really want a power dose, stacking with DHA, which is an omega-3s, with at least 700 to 1,000 milligrams of DHA. Now, DHA, remember, that's good for brain and eyes when it comes to the omega-3 family. EPA is good for systemic inflammation, but DHA is phenomenal for brain and cognitive function. All to do is citicoline or CB, CDP choline, 300 milligrams. So this will not only help with improve memory, but also do it and increases neurogenesis, which will help create new memory. So I hope this helps. Thank you very much, the viewer, for suggesting uridine. It's really, it's a really good supplement. And if you haven't done it already, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, comment, and if you find this information valuable, please share with a friend. And thanks for watching, as always.